Hey guys, Super Gaming here, and in today's video, we are going to be counting down the top five hardest maps in Call of Duty Zombies. So let's get into it. Coming in at number five is Moon. Moon is um well, let's see here. When you get hit by that astronaut guy, you have to go back two times in a row without jug back to Area 51, which can quite be a hassle. So this would be recommended for more experienced players and not beginners. And yeah, let's move on to number four. Hey guys, we're back with number four. Number four is Shangri-La. The only reason this is at number four is because once you get set up, it is quite easy. But when you're setting up, it is quite hard, actually. So, wouldn't recommend this to beginner players either, but more experienced players, definitely. Maybe if you were a knife rank on Black Ops 2, maybe you should play this. And, yeah, so, once you get your PhD in Mustang and Sally, you should be fine on this map. So, let's move on at number three. Alright guys, so number three is Nocturne and Tone, specifically the Black Ops 1 version and not the World of War, look at that down there. But the Black Ops 1 version, they hit you immediately, it's not like not the World of War version when they hit you like slowly. That would actually be quite easy to train on. But the Black Ops 1 version is very hard, you, like you can't even survive like past round 15 on that map. Unless you're a really good player like the Relaxing End or something like that. So, yeah, moving down to the number two spot. There's literally no strategy for that. So number Number two is going to be Verrucked, guys. Verrucked is a very hard map. I think my high score is 11 on here. And I know many Zombies YouTubers struggle on this one. Um, so, you're really lacking a Wonder Weapon. On the Black Ops 1 version, you have the Freeze Gun, which is much help. Which is some help, not much help, actually. But there's not much, so... Yeah, all you have is a Ray Gun will probably kill you because it's so close quarters. So, moving down to number one. Now the number one spot, guys, is gonna have to go to five. Now, I don't really struggle with five, but I know another, a lot of other people do. I got to round 30 on this map, which is pretty good for me. But, um, yeah, it's just really hard for beginner players, and if you don't have a good team, even if your experience is gonna be a struggle. So that's why this thing came in at number one, and so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.